Hey guys, it's me, Chef Mick. In a little while, you're going to see my live episode of Thanksgiving dinner. This is the mini episode showing you how I got the turkey ready, because when I go live, the turkey's going to already be in the oven. All right, let's uh, change the view here. Let me show you my bird. Here you go. This is a nice little 11 and a half pound bird. Okay, what do we do? Well, we have it on... We have it on paper towels, and we need extra paper towels because we want to keep it dry. We're going to pat it dry and keep it dry. No, we're not frying it, but it's always best to do this, okay? First, we have to look in the top part. This is where the neck, this is where the neck used to be. And, as you would see, this is all the gizzards. They're all packed together, the liver, the heart, all that stuff. It's all packed together. This one they stuffed in the front. Okay, this is where the neck was. There should be a... Uh, it's not in here, so we got to look in the back. There should be a neck, a neck bone, and uh, other stuff still. So, back here, as you can see, they have it trussed a little bit. Okay, they have it wrapped where this stuff will stick together. And if you know how to, you know, if you don't take it off too far, you'll be able to put it right back where you got it from. Ah, what's this? Dun, dun, dun. Neck bone, just like I said. What else is back here? Anything else? No, there's it, there's still a lot of liquid in there. A lot of blood and water. This was fresh. This was not a frozen one. Excuse me. Oh, you hear that? Yucko. Okay, this was a fresh turkey, not a frozen one. So, we got that part out of the way. Let's move this out of the way so that you can see what else I'm going to do to the turkey. All right, well, what else do we do with the turkey? We just throw it in the oven like that? Yes, you can if that's what you'd like. But a lot of people use what you call stuffing. That means they take the breading and all the stuff they're going to put, eat as, as their dressing, they stuff it in here. I don't do that. But I do stuff, well... This is bell pepper, very aromatic. I do stuff some loose bell pepper in there. Onion, stuff it in there. And carrots and celery. And I stuff it all in there. Now, why do we do this? Well, mainly because we're trying to keep this part from drying out so much that it starts to dry out the bird from the inside out. So you stuff it with something. Aromatics also add, like the stuff I just added, also add a great smell and flavor to the bird. All right, so we've got it stuffed. Now, what else do you do? Well, you see the skin here? You pull up on the skin here so you can get underneath the skin. Underneath the skin. Underneath the skin. Okay, you don't want to tear it up too much, but you want to get underneath it. What are we going to do with that? We're going to put butter underneath here, okay? Then we're going to put some oil all over, oil, salt, and pepper all over the outside. We're going to put it in our pan and throw it in the oven. That's what we're going to do. That's why we need to get underneath the skin so that we can... Now, what a lot of people will do... What a lot of people will do is they'll soften their butter and they'll uh, add spices and stuff to it and then shove it in here like this where the butter gets to stay wherever it wants and then that way it's already you know spiced with the different kind of flavoring on the inside. I'm just going to leave some butter under the skin, butter under the skin, I didn't do anything else to it there and then with the softened, softened butter, you can actually do it on the outside of the skin. Give it a nice little massage. Uh, if you don't want to use any more butter, it's okay. It's alright. You can use olive oil, which I happen to have right here. Olive oil. Put some on my hand. This is beautiful stuff. Don't forget down low, guys. Don't forget down low. How low can you go? 
Don't forget the wings. People may not always eat the wings, but that doesn't mean we should forget them. All right. So we got plenty of butter and olive oil on the outside that's going to make this nice and crispy. We should also, and I'm going to wash my hands again real quick. We should also add a little flavoring on the outside, guys. A little bit of flavoring. Salt, pepper, um, any kind of spice that you're looking for. I'll do salt and pepper. I don't have a problem with salt. My salt crock, remember? Okay. I've got this. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Now let's pepper it up a little bit. My everything's bigger in Texas peppermint. Alright, so now let's look at our bird again. Let's look at it from the top. Okay, salt, pepper, you can see the butter on the inside. It's going to melt and drip down into the other parts here. But what's going to happen is I'm doing high heat cooking. So the oven is already set at uh, 400 and I'm going to do 460 degrees. It's more than 450. People do 475. You can do that too. Okay, you know what? 475. I'm going to do 475 on my oven. It's going to take a little while. 475. Now, the oven is going to start at 475. It's going to start in a few minutes. I'm going to put the turkey in here. You see all these you see all these veggies right here? They're all dry. The turkey is going to sit on top of all of this just the way it is. It's going to sit right here. I'm going to add water to it. Why am I going to add water to it? We're going to have plenty of drippings from the turkey because if I don't add water, all those drippings which are mostly grease and oil that I just put on there and the and the fat from the turkey at this high temperature is going to start to smoke. And when you open your oven, you're going to have a room full of smoke. So we put the veggies, we fill it with some water, we have the turkey on top, we throw it into the oven, voila. This is an 11 pound turkey at 475. I expect to be ready under two hours. This is how you should do it. You want to do a slow cooked turkey, you're going to take four or five hours, whatever, that's up to you. I don't have that time to waste. I don't want to do that. I want to make it faster. If you want to make it even faster than that, fry it outside. I can't fry it right now. I don't have the stuff to do it. But if you can, fry it. Fried turkey is incredible. All right, guys. Bird. In here with water. Ah, what else am I going to do? Right before I let you go, let me show you something, guys. Let's put the bird in here. Okay, you see the mess I've made right here? That's okay, easy cleanup, easy peasy. All right, because the bird is going in the high temperature, let's go ahead, take a couple of pieces of foil, okay? Put them, put them together like this, and then at one edge, at one edge, just fold it over and make them one long piece, okay? So now we have a longer piece of foil, which we will put over the bird, which we will put over the bird. It's called tenting. We're going to tent the foil over the bird. We're going to add water. The tenting right there, as you can see, oil over the bird we put foil. The tenting keeps the bird from already browning too fast. Near the end of our cooking, we'll remove the tenting and let that outside brown really nice. It works, guys. All right, I'm Chef Mick, cooking for the boys. If you know how to cook, you can marry for looks. This is going into an oven, and then we're going live. In fact, we're going live in an hour and 15 minutes. Peace and love.